carefully. Romain Jules Laville. Yeah, mm -hmm. my middle name is Jules. <laughs> I do not answer anything that other members of parliament or other ministers say. Or defend um, to a certain extent things that Romain Laville says. How Anything does Romain Laville feel about France Richardson right now? That's a cool dude, man. That's my buddy. What do you want me to tell you? What do you want me to tell you about Patrick, Patrick Illich too? How do you feel about Patrick Illich? Huh? How do you feel about Patrick Illich? Patrick, my boy, man. Harry? Harry, my boy. Who's, ha who's Harry? That's his nickname. We give each other nicknames. <laughs> the three Stooges nicknames was taken, so we had to go with Harry, Peter, and Paul. Look, like I say again, I mean, look, you got sour grapes, people upset. Um, that's fine to You're be talking upset. about the government going to fall right now that William Marlin and Sarah West could not get along in the MPs or manipulating. Um, the government can't fall. According to my sources, we already we've even manipulated the three amigos, which would be Hugh, Patrick Illich, and Frank Richardson. He does. He is the main manipulator. He was the one who caused Taylor to fall. I don't know about her. I don't know anything about her. You just said just now I was the one to cause a man to fall. Now you're saying Leroy the Weaver. I mean, who it is? No, the, I was told Leroy the Weaver was the main puppet master. In the downfall, he was I the one that was sent behind the scenes to negotiate with Romain Laville. I never had a discussion with Leroy the Weaver. Um, and that's on my eight year old daughter, and everything I tell you today is on my eight year old daughter. Um, I never had no discussions with Leroy. Is it true that Tio Helga had him in his, had you in his private plane on the, the, the eve of the election coup? She has a private plane. I heard that Romain Laville is right now on this plane and, and Theo is trying to convince him not to let the coalition fall. He has a private plane? Yes. Private, I see I can't this, pronounce it properly. A this private is April, plane? <laughs> this is April for the Juve. I was told, the question was, for, where's the Romain? Romain on... Romain on I wasn't answering my phone to nobody. Um... I did not go on no plane. I don't know anything about a plane. Um, I would not go on any plane, much less a boat, um, with nobody um, other than family. Um, and so I don't know about that. I know they've been trying to call me, but I, I, I don't, don't know miss calls. I don't answer nobody's call. My anger? Yes. This is me exploding. I don't have an anger problem. I've never been angry. I have been passionate. And that's a totally different thing. Um, I have always been passionate when it comes to people who have been taken advantage of. If you will go back to when people actually... You know, I'm in the limelight now, but I've always been like this. Um, during the whole Pelican situation, when I have to see uh, mothers that I went to school with their kids, fathers that know my parents and know me growing up, and to have to see them subjected to something like this, and that comes from one of my members that I am supposedly supposed to support, because as the faction leader, you are the general of that team. And you have to make sure as a general, defend your members. But not to defend it in a way where it costs you your own life. And so, and so, and so, the only time I have gotten angry. The only time, if you would call it angry, why you use the word passionate, is when it deals with the hurt of the people that I swore on that day on October 10, 2010 to defend in the government building when I made my oath. And so, you can call it what you want. At the end of the day, uh, I will not change that feeling.
Is Jill James a part of the reason why you left the UP? It's a big part of the reason why I left. But he's not the only reason. I interview him on a Friday. Very good for him. Um, he's not the only reason why I left. Um, you know, when you, when you, you see the thing is, is that <clears throat> when you campaigning to be elected, you tell people everything they want to hear. Because in the back of your mind, you don't know, you're not going to fulfill any of those things. And I think what caught them off guard is that I wanted to fulfill the things that I said. When I spoke in Suckle Garden for our first meeting and I talked about the young men in the different districts and the job opportunities that can be given to them to take care of their own areas in which they live. When I got in office, I've been trying to get that done. Um, when I talked about... Um, um, different areas for our elderly, different things for our young kids that are coming back to school to give them the opportunity, the counterpart program, all the things I spoke about. I have not deterred from that. And so I think that that kind of threw a lot of them off guard. Because, hey, wait a minute, this guy actually wants to stick to what he's been saying? And so how do you measure a man? I am, I was what, 31 years old when I got in, 31, 32 when I got in, what, 30, yeah. How are you being, wait, 34 now? What? Uh, and I, my parents took their time and their effort and their sweat and blood to send me away to school to study, to go to college, that they did not get opportunity to go to college. And I come back afterwards with my degrees in my hand, and one of those was my maritime degree. I am the only Antillian to ever be accepted to the World Maritime University in Sweden. And so, when you give all of that up to serve your people, that today or tomorrow government falls, you don't have nothing to fall back on because you didn't take time out from your job. You didn't secure yourself to take time out from your job. And so I want you to understand the measure of people. So when people talk all these type of nonsense and say that, oh, he was given money and all of these crap. I want us to be honest and fair with people. Fair. Because if money was an issue for me, then I would have kept my job at the port. I would have made sure that myself was situated and set up properly. I would have made sure that I got all my different things coming in for all what little deals I could get in this four years that I am here. I would have taken the 350000 that the old boys then wanted me to get to take to come back. And so we must be honest with ourselves as a people when, when we speak to other persons. And, and not try to want to paint them into something that they are not. And this is something that I keep saying. It's not a, that's not an issue with me. The thing about me is, is that people have never really seen somebody in politics who have principles. Who really truly care. You're the one person. I, am not, I can't speak for everybody else. No, I this speak is my me. perspective. So you're saying that you're the one person. I am office. not saying about nobody else. I'm saying about me. Okay, I'm gonna This is Romaine. Laville. Let's try to kill two rumors, Laville, before I leave.